I'm going to come right out and ask. You are one of my favorite Ring of Honor guys. You come in as the mass exodus happens. You are a flag bearer for the company. Now you work for a company who has purchased Ring of Honor. Is there a little bit of you that kind of wants to go back to that Ring of Honor brand and, and fl wave that flag? Or are you done? You moved on. You're happy. You're glad they're part of there. And if they ask you to go down, you'll do it. But you moved on from the Ring of Honor thing. Yeah, I think it's more the latter. Like, you know, if something happened and there was a storyline that I was asked to be part of, I would love to go back. I really enjoyed my time at Ring of Honor. When I started wrestling, I wasn't really familiar with the independence. I wasn't really familiar with a lot of wrestling. I, I watched pretty frequently until I was about 13 and then I kind of fell off completely. It was kind of when I was in my like almost mid twenties when uh, Punk was doing this, the Straightest Society stuff that kind of like brought me back in. And then from there, I started to watch Ring of Honor. And then when I started wrestling, then I really started watching New Japan and Ring of Honor and stuff like that. And it was, it was Ring of Honor that really made me a wrestling fan again, because, you know, how could you not be? It's some of the greatest wrestling to ever exist, the early 2000s Ring of Honor stuff. So to be part of Ring of Honor, I felt like that was most guys cut their teeth in Ring of Honor and then they went on to do great things. So, you know, hopefully that is also going to be my trajectory. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I would like to go back if I was needed. I had a couple shots at the uh, world title that I didn't really get to clutch up by outside interference. I think that maybe that's kind of left off the bucket list.